Goodbye, former Washington football team, right? Yeah. Uh, and hello, Commanders. Washington's NFL team unveiled a new name following years of criticism and controversy. For more than eight decades, the team was known as a name that many people found to be offensive. Yes. And so officials finally decided to temporarily change the name in 2020 amid an outcry from Native American activists who accused the team of upholding a racial slur. The NFL is proud to enter into a new era of tolerance with Washington renaming their team, the Washington Commanders. Racism solved. Let's move on. Former Dolphins head coach Brian Flores is suing the NFL, alleging racism in the hiring process. Admittedly, not a good look, but at least our coaching staffs are making great strides with diversity. Only one of the 32 teams has a black head coach. Okay, she's British. What do they know about football? Look, there may be a lot of white coaches in our league but they all embrace acceptance. The head coach for the Las Vegas Raiders resigned after his sexist, racist, and homophobic emails. Oh, come on. That Gruden stuff happened so long ago. He resigned in October. Okay, that was the regular season. How about the postseason? There's been no examples of racial insensitivity. <laughs> Point is, we are learning from the mistakes. So, from all of us at the NFL, Happy Super Bowl History Month.